Okay, so we are work we are trying to show that this uh, metric space C, which is sorry, uh, this metric space C, which is the set of all convergent sequences of either real or complex numbers, depending on um, your preference, uh, that on when you. Uh, when you uh, imbue that with the d-infinity metric, that that forms a complete metric space is what we're trying to show. Okay, so we've said, take some sequence S, which is a Cauchy sequence of sequences within, uh, within this metric space C. So these are all convergent sequences. So all Sn are convergent sequences. So Sn being elements of C implies Sn are convergent sequences convergent sequences of real or complex number sequences. Okay, so uh, what we've said so far is that if Sn is an element of C, then we can imagine Sn being an element of L infinity, because they certainly are elements of L infinity. And if it's Cauchy within C, it's going to be Cauchy within L infinity, because C with this metric on is just a subset of L infinity with the D infinity metric on. Okay, uh, so uh, that because we've seen that L infinity is a complete metric space, we then say, okay, this converges to some limiting, se limiting sequence L, which is L1, L2, L3, a sequence of real or complex numbers. It converges to this. What we now want to prove is that this um, is actually going to be within C. So it's not that you know it converges to something outside of C. Basically, it has to this limit that it converges to also has to be in C, which is the statement that this sequence here converges. So what do we need to do to prove that this sequence converges? So this L uh, is a sequence L1, L2. L3, etc., of real or complex numbers, and we want to prove that this is a convergent sequence of um, real or complex numbers. So to prove that, we need to prove, so required to prove, that for all epsilon greater than zero, there exists a big M, which is an element of the natural numbers, such that if little n is greater than or equal to big N, it implies that, um, oh, wait, sorry, uh, yes, um, we're not actually going to be able to do this, I'm just going on autopilot. Uh, I was about to say, uh, do the definition of what it means to converge to a limit, but of course we don't know what this sequence is going to converge to, so we can't do that. So instead, how do we show that a um, how do we show that a sequence of real numbers converges without actually knowing its limit? We show it's Cauchy. So we need to prove it's Cauchy. Basically, it's a Cauchy sequence of real or complex numbers. It's Cauchy. It's a Cauchy sequence. I should complete that. Okay. So we need to show that for all epsilon greater than zero, there exists a big N, which is an element of the natural numbers, such that if little n and little m are greater than or equal to big N, it implies that the uh, mod the distance between um, L n and L m, oh dear, L n and L m, uh, is uh, less than epsilon. So basically, what I'm saying is, if this is a convergent sequence of real or complex numbers, then there will exist some big M, which is an element of the natural numbers. For whatever epsilon you give me, I can find you a big N. Um, which is an element of the natural numbers, such that if I look at this tail end of this sequence and take two uh, random points, two arbitrary points from this tail end, L little n and L little m, and I ask how far away are they within the metric of the real or complex plane, i.e. the usual metric where we have this modulus function like this, uh, and that needs to be le that is going to be less than epsilon, basically. For any epsilon, I can find you an n for which this holds true, basically. Okay. So, uh, what, that's what we need to show, so uh, let's do it. Let's let epsilon be some arbitrary number greater than zero. So let epsilon be an arbitrary number greater than zero. We're now going to have to, we're going to have, what we have to show now is that this sequence is necessarily, that this holds true because it's the limit of a bunch of uh, convergent sub -se uh, sequences of real or complex numbers. So we're going to need a bit more paper now to do this. So let me go on to a new sheet of paper. Right. So remember where we got this sequence L from. Uh, we had the sequ this sequence here, S1, S2, S3, which was converging down to L. So let me write some terms out. So we've got X11, uh, one, one, the first term of the first sequence. X12, the second term of the first sequence. The X13, the third term, etc. Okay, and then we've got another sequence here, X Two. This is the second sequence, so the first term of the second sequence, x22, two, two, the second term of the second sequence, x23, the, the third term of the second sequence. And then we've got this third sequence, x31, x32, 
free 2 x free 3 okay and we then have this this sequence that this converges to in uh, in L infinity. What we what we know at the moment is that it converges to this in L infinity. But of course, we know that all of these sequences themselves are converging to something. So in fact, let's say that these converge. So these are all convergent sequences because remember, all these sequences S S N was an element of C, which means that it's a convergent sequence of real or complex numbers. So what should I call these limits? Let's call them D D one. Uh, D2, D3, etc. Okay? Uh, so they're all converging. So Sn converges uh, to Dn, etc. Okay? So we have now this sequence L, which is what these sequences are converging to within L infinity. So this is some L1, L2, L3, etc. like that. Okay, and what we're trying to show is that this sequence is a Cauchy sequence. So what we've said is, let epsilon be an arbitrary number. I need to find you some point here. I need to find you some L big N, such that if I take any two points from beyond there uh, and ask what are the distance between them, what's uh, their, well, if I take any two terms beyond that term Ln, uh, which are real or complex numbers, and I take the, um, mod the modulus of their difference, that needs to be less than epsilon.